Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be making a load more pagination and we're gonna be getting the data from the API first and then we're just gonna be displaying three cards in our case and we're gonna have a simple button that's just gonna say load more. Then once we click that, we're gonna render three new cards and then we can keep going as much as we want here. Each card is gonna have like a unique number and then the data it has. So going back here, the first thing we want to do is we're just going to import your state from React. And then here inside our app, we're going to have two states. One of them is going to be for these cards. So the whole uh, cards, we can call that item, or in our case, items and set items. And we're going to set that to an empty array initially. And our other state is how many cards we want to show. So in our case here, we're showing three cards at beginning. So we're going to make another state here. And we're just going to call it visible and set visible. And at the beginning, we're just going to set this to three. That's how many cards we want to show. And then we'll also need to import use effect. Since we're going to get the data once the page loads. So under that, we're going to do use effect, pass an arrow function, and this is only going to run once when the page loads, so we're going to pass an empty array here, and then inside of that, we're going to use fetch, and we're going to use this link, I'm going to leave this in the description, if you want to check it out, you can see how this looks like, we we'll just post, and then we have user ID, ID, title, and body, so this is all the data we can get, then after that, we're going to add dot then, we're going to get the response and we want to set that to response.json. Then we're going to have another dot n. We're going to get the data back. And for now, we can just console.log data. So if we open a console, you can see we have a lot of objects and then each of them has user ID, ID, title, and body. So in our example, we're just going to be displaying ID and body. So let's remove the console log. So instead of console logging the data, we're gonna update our state, which is set item. So we're gonna use set items to update the state and we're gonna pass data here. So now this items contains all the data we're getting from the API. Then inside our app, we're not gonna need this h1. We're gonna add a div with a class name or container first. And then inside of div, we're going to need to output this data and our items is an array. So we're going to need to map. So you can do items.map and then for each item. So here we're going to return a card. So div with a class name of card. Then we're going to have another div here with the class name of ID. And inside a div with the class name of ID, we're just going to render a span. And this is just going to be item.id. And then on the descending div, we can just render a paragraph. And this is some data we want to show. This is going to be item.body. So as you can see at the beginning, we have a lot of cards here. So we have 100 of them, but we only want to show three at the beginning. So instead of mapping through everything here, we're going to use slice on the items. So we're going to do items.slice first. We're going to start from zero and then three is going to be our ending value. So it's going to slice everything from beginning until it hits three. So zero, one, and two is what it's gonna return. And since that's an array, it's gonna return three elements. So we have one, two, and three as the IDs here. So that's gonna show at the beginning. And then we need to add a button as well here so we can actually add more. So after the curly braces here, we're just gonna add a button. And our button is just gonna say add more. Or load more. I think that's better. We'll just add that. And for our button, we're gonna add on click event. And right now we didn't make a function, 
but let's make a function which we're gonna call show more items. So this is a function we're gonna create right now. So let's go up here. We're gonna do const show more items. That's gonna be equal to an arrow function. And the only thing we wanna do inside this function is actually update this number. So right now this we hard coded this to three, but this number is gonna replace this state. So this visible state is initially three. So we can just change it here and we're gonna get the same thing right now. But inside this function, we're gonna actually update that state. So we can use set visible. We can pass an arrow function to get the previous state. So we can do like previous value as an arrow function. And then we're gonna do previous value plus three. So we wanna increase this number by three. And by doing that, we're gonna get three more cards each time we're mapping here. Because initially this visible state is three. So we're gonna get three cards from array zero, one, and two. And then once we change this, or once we click this button, this visible is gonna become six. So if we click load more, and see we have six of them. And if we click again, it's gonna add three more. So seven, eight, and nine and so on so that's all the react there is to making this and then the last step is to add some styles to make this look nice so let's make this a bit smaller here and the first thing we're just going to add a start to target all the elements we're going to add box sizing or border box margin zero padding zero font family of sans serif then we have our container we're gonna make it width 100% and max width of 1000 pixels. We're gonna also add margin 20 pixels top and bottom and auto just to center it here. We're also gonna add display flex to the container. Flex wrap of wrap just to put the button under them. And we're also gonna add justify content space between just to space out our cards. Then here, we can target our card. We're gonna add a width of 100%. And we're also gonna add a max width of 318 pixels. We're gonna add padding of 20. We're gonna have some type of blue background here. And color of white. And we also want to add some margin for top and bottom. So we're going to do 10 pixels zero. So these are all the cards we have. Let's reload that. We should have only three cards at the beginning. Then we have a div with a class name of ID. We're going to make that with 40 pixels and height, 40 pixels as well. We're going to add a border to pixel solid white. We're going to add border radius, so 50% to make it as a circle. And we're also going to add display flex, just so we can easily center this number. Then we have a span. We're going to add margin auto to center it in a circle. And font size of 70 pixels. Then we have this paragraph. We're also going to add a font size of 17. And we're also going to add a bit of margin just for top. So we're going to do 15 pixels, 0, 0, 0. And then the last thing is changing the button here. We're going to add border none, outline none, just to remove both of them. We're going to make it full width, so width 100%. Adding 16 pixels, 0, so only top and bottom. We're going to add a bit of margin just for top of 10 pixels and then we're gonna do zero 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 we're gonna have a background which is gonna be this one right here so we can just copy that we're gonna add a color white font size of 18 pixels and cursor of pointer and right now we have three cards showing here if we go to app our visible is set to 3. And then once we click, we're gonna update this state by 3 more. And then this map is gonna run again here. So this number is gonna get replaced. So if we click load more, we're gonna see 3 more cards. So 4, 5, 6. Click again, 7, 8, 9. 
and it's going to keep adding more and more as soon as you click the button. So that would be it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.